And uh, welcome back to the uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2 playthrough. It's been about six months <laughs> since I did last part, but whatever. Um, I also like the fact that we're ending the playthrough and what's supposed to come in between 1 and 2. So really, this should have been part 1, not, not part 6, I guess this one is, or 7. I lose so you that. say this happens between parts 1 and 2? Yeah, it has to, man. Okay, I'm j just following up with what you said. Also, like the, you know, I, I, I do like the, how it starts where it has like the the um, Sonic CD title cards, even though that isn't where he would have fallen. Just you know, that isn't where that big um thing comes down where he runs into and gets smacked down. I would I would have no clue because I've never finished Sonic CD because I think it's a totally overrated game. It is, but I love this. I love this. This is basically Eggman's way of doing that. What's, what's that machine they use at hospitals? Was like clear charge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This, this says nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> this this pretty much says Eggman's like, um, I kind of forgot you're up here, so come back and <laughs> yeah. do stuff. And I was like, okay. Well, the oh, planet awesome. comes back like every year or so, right? Something like that, yeah. So. I do have, I do have the fact that June mixed in, um, you know, two dudes on a warrior. Is that from Sonic CD? I'm, yeah, man, that's the that's the melody of the, the main theme song. Do, do, Sonic, do, 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 do. Well, that's the Jap they, Japanese they, though, right? Yeah, they also say that apparently the Sonic Boom is mixed in as well. I myself have never been able to hear Sonic Boom, but everyone else is like, it's Sonic Boom as well! Whoever said that's on crack? Since when could, could Metal Sonic spin dash? <laughs> um. Now. <laughs> and of course, he abandons his spin dash just like Sonic does later. Exactly. Now he, like, he's clearly floating and flying there, but when you take control of him, nope. <laughs> okay, what's Eggman doing there? <laughs> he's <laughs> dancing. <laughs> he's just, happy. He's just thrusting his crotch in the air. So here we go with the gameplay, and um, it's exactly like Sonic. It's it's pretty. This, this is pretty much Sonic, you know, for Episode One. It plays basically. This is just they they, they should really just call this Episode Recolor. Because all it is, you know, like, Metal has nothing new or original. It's a slightly different running animation. Apart from that, he spins in a ball, which doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes virtually no sense with Sonic, but it makes even less sense with this <laughs> robot, you know? He can he can jump, he can spin dash, he can uh, home and attack, which, you know... I guess, see, I was just expecting, a lot of other people were expecting him to just play differently. Well, I you think know. it'd be nice if we weren't, you know, destroying Eggman's robots and all that shit. Well, see, again, this this kind of falls into the same category as, like, Shadow the Hedgehog did. It's like, if, it's like you know, with Black Doom, if you want me to be on your side, tell your minions not, not to kill me. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's like in this, it's like, why would Eggman's robots... Well, Metal Sonic is pretty much Eggman's greatest creation. He's kind of like Eggman's second in command, you know, as, as it were. So why are all these badniks, unless they're just mindless idiots? It's like, doof, doof, well, doof. I, why would they the be like trying to kill him? the robots attack anything that's blue. That'd <laughs> be hilarious if, like, in, in, like, in the next game, if they explain that's why. Yeah. Go collect all the Chaos Emeralds for me, my minions. They find the blue one, they just attack it. <laughs> now, like what we're playing here, it, it's they're kind of they're pretty much the same acts as the ones we played in, in Episode One, though. Like they've been slightly rearranged, ever so slightly. I mean, I, I guess it, it is kind of nice I bonus it was hard. content. Really? Yeah. So I thought very hard. I thought it was no different to um Episode One. We get very, very slightly harder than F1, but apart from that, nothing major. Well, I never finished episode one, to be honest. What? Seriously? I can't, the controls just piss me off too much. I get, they I get piss no me off so much that I refuse to finish it. For F1, it doesn't handle amazingly, but it's not a broken game. It's, still, it's easily playable. You just suck, dude. No, it's just easily shit. Oh, oh okay. So, so w when it comes to uh, Sonic CD and Sonic 4, you aren't able to say I completed this game. Perhaps. Exactly. So again, this is. It, to me, it just I mean like, again. I get the idea of, of what they were going for this, but it just seems slightly redundant. I mean, obviously, to, to get this, you have to have a um, Sonic 4, you know, Episode 1 save on your PlayStation 3, Xbox Live, you know, PC, as as it were. To, to access it, and I guess in that regards, it is kind of like you know, 
like lock on tech technology, kind of like you know Sonic Three and Sonic and Knuckles. Well, yeah. See, I didn't have Episode One, but as soon as they said you get uh, Episode Metal if you buy One and Two, so I went ahead and bought One again, actually, because I bought it for the Wii, and that's when Save I realized here. I was Save like, here. oh, this is terrible. <laughs> and then when Episode Two came out, I got it for the PS3, obviously for you know HD or whatever. And then you know previous story. So I basically, I spent an extra fifteen dollars just to get uh, episode metal. You spent you spent fifteen bucks on it? Yeah, they're fifteen bucks each. I thought, yeah, but no, but I, I when episode two came out, episode one was reduced in price. Was it? In England, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I get that like uh, car price, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Curse you, America! That's cool. So, clearly Sonic's already been through all here because I wanna the, know, the signposts many, are already flipped to Sonic. Yeah, how many side? This is like a four. This is like a three-sided side pose because the first it's Eggman, and then it goes to Sonic, and then when Metal goes through it, it, it turns to Metal. Well, I think it's a magic signpost. It's magical. Uh, my least favorite level in Episode One and and in this like sub game. Yeah, I, I, really I, I like this a lot Labyrinth. more than the previous level. Well, I mean, like, I mean, yeah, it's kind of better than like, like Lost Labyrinth Act One, but I still think it's the weakest in the entire game. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I thought it was fun. I like the music in it too. I think it th it fits the level well. Um, I wouldn't, you know, like. Uh, this is one of those level tracks where it, it works really well when you're playing the game, but I find myself never listening to it on, on like my iPod. Yeah, well, I, I find that to be true with, you know, 25% of Sonic's music in general. Hmm. Apart from Chemical Plant Act 2, that, I could listen to that all day, every day. You know, that's probably the one thing that you and I disagree on. <laughs> well, what? You don't like Chemical Plant Act 2? No. What? How can you not like that music? I try. I, I try to like it and... Oh, you are dead to me, my good sir. <laughs> yeah. And I want you to know I faked every orgasm. That's fine, so did I. <laughs> I never actually put it in. <laughs> oh. Who am I gonna punch? <laughs> <laughs> now why would Metal Sonic need this bubble shield for? He doesn't need any of this, dude. He should just fly over all of this. He should just flex. Yeah, why is he wasting time on, on the bull puzzle for? For me, Mad Gear and Lost Labyrinth, it makes sense for a Metal Sonic to go through and Splash Hill because, you know, it, you find out in, in this part that Mad Gear Zone was really created just to restore Metal Sonic. That's its sole purpose, as it were. Really? And, like, you know, um, Eggman was traveling through Lost Labyrinth in Episode 1 to find, like, the this the purple gem thing that Metal's going to take at the end of this act. So, again, that makes sense. And, of course, in, in, in Splash Hill, that's where he tracks down Sonic. I don't see a logical reason as to why he has to go through, as uh, why Metal has to go through um, Casino Street. Because even even if you look on the map screen, he could easily go, to, you know, get the splashy without going to um, Casino Street. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really put that much thought into it, to be honest. I mean, St Stephen, it's, it's Stephen Stock just it's oh, I free. don't know. You can't complain about free stuff. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not complaining about yes, it. Yes, you just, are. No, 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 no. I'm just. I'm not complaining about the game, but I'm just saying that I'm just trying to fit logic. I mean, again, this is a criticism that I get from people where they say I, I try to put logic into stuff where it don't really need logic. But I'm just like, if I was Mel, I'm just saying that his story isn't very isn't very efficient. He could have, you know, knocked out 25 percent of his journey by skipping Casino Street. Yeah, well, nothing. I mean, he, nothing's, can... We're gonna get there. Nothing's gained in, in Casino Street. I guess not. Well, perhaps... Mm, no, because you explain it through the map. I don't know, dude. I mean, he flew from one planet to the other in a matter of seconds, you know? <laughs> just, and just It's fly also over stupid it, bro. because just we fly see... Over it. It's weird because, like, you know, we, at the... We're gonna, spoiler alert, we're gonna see him steal a freaking rocket ship at the end of this section. But yeah, in Ep 2, we see him fly again without a rocket. And it's like, why are we wasting time with this freaking rocket for? Well, I don't think he was going there to get the rocket. I mean, I, he saw the rockets, he was like, ah, I might as well take this. But he's faster without it. <laughs> Shut up. I 
I did like the story of episode Metal. I thought you just you know all the cutscenes look you know worked very well together. Yeah. Um, what is this thing though? Like, I have no idea. It looks like one of those like weird orbs in in um Sky Sanctuary that you know, used to like teleport. See, like, look at him go there. He goes like super fast and he's flying like, through the air, and then you know we get to Casino Street, and you think I'm gonna be able to do that now? I'm gonna be able to fly through space and nope. do awesome, awesome <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> electric road. <laughs> what? Again, did they what? give? Did they give these levels new names? Yeah, it's like um, Mad Gear is like Metal Sonic's Return. This one is like uh, Electric Road. Splash Hero is In Pursuit of Sonic. One thing that a lot of people, some people were hoping for with this is that the, um, because obviously episode 2 uses like a different synth package from episode 1, which is why the synth sounds better. A lot of people were hoping that, um, you know, Doom would have remixed them. You know, so like, you done the episode 1 tracks in the, in the episode 2 synth. Nah, Sega's, Sega's already got enough financial problems. Them giving us free shit is all, us already like, you know, praise the lord. Well, it's like, it... It's kind of like free ship. I doubt it took them. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I doubt it took them that much that much time to do, you know, to actually put together. Let's call them and ask. <laughs> this <laughs> next part, <Okay. laughs> yeah, this next part is very like. I just have to go right, right there, but I I couldn't tell. I thought that was a wall, so I was like, I have to go down here. <laughs> yeah, like I have no clue that I can just go to the right. And I'm like, hmm. No. We <laughs> right. So I'm trying to build my momentum and like go but up like you could in Sonic 2. Oh, uh, dude, don't. Yeah, that's the one thing you need to learn about Sonic 4 is that don't try and roll because rolling does jack dick in terms of momentum. So yeah, so that didn't take too long. That didn't take too long. Yeah, but it still took far longer than it should have done. I can't help that these graphics are shit. There's no depth to them. I can't tell what's going on. Yeah, which which is one of the main reasons why people were hoping for like actual lock on between one and two, where you could play through one and two as one big game. But that that would have revolved, that would have you know meant that Sega or Dimps, whatever one handled the graph, probably Dimps would have had to like basically remake the the entire first game using a different graphic engine, which yeah they really weren't ever gonna do. <laughs> I don't know why, but like I have, I don't know, like a lot of people I've been thinking about it for a while. But do you think that do you think Sega might ever put this on actual disc at some point? No, absolutely not. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind it if they did, and if they if they like remade it, so like used the episode two graphic styles for one, redid the music for episode one to it sounded more like two, you know, just made it all like fit better, add tails into a uh, part one, and just like made episode metal kind of more unique. A man, a man can dream. I'm also I'm also waiting for my uh, HD remake of SA One and Two. <laughs> yeah. Well, you mm, SA Two is somewhat HD. No, I mean I don't mean I don't mean just take SA Two and wrap a crappy HD filter on it. I mean actually, you know, make it good. I was doing I was doing a commentary with um Brain Scratch Comms, and one of the guys there was trying to tell me that episode that SA Two ha ha has a good camera system. I was just like, no, no, it doesn't. What are you, what are you smoking? Uh, I hate how plastic this world looks. Yeah, it's like, it it stands out more in the HD version <laughs> than than it does. Because again, because um, my the, the playthrough I did of this with with uh, Sky, we used the Wii version, and but, you know, I, I had to buy the PS3 version to get this, but. You know what? I know a thing I don't get though. I love that. Look at that. Yeah, you can't go these up. physics are horrible. <laughs> Haters got a head. Wait, did you like jump up when you were inside that cavern? I might have. Yeah, game. At the end of the day, you know, it is it is free content. You know, it's not it's not really original. It's just kind of. I don't think anyone would have complained if like if if this had never been made. I mean, it's kind of just. For me, it's kind of just there. I mean, it's it's nice they did it. You know, it's a nice item. I mean, it, it's cool to finally have a properly playable Metal Sonic. It's just a shame that he's, you know, a pointlessly redundant Sonic clone. Mm. And again, it, it, it's that thing of like, 
they, they make cutscenes where he can do awesome stuff, and yet you can't do what he does in the cutscenes in the game, and that's just... Would you have liked being able to boost with Metal Sonic, with that purple energy? I think that would have been awesome, yeah. Because it, it would have, you know, it would have made sense for his character, it would have been made him stand out to... I mean, you know, the Sonic, in terms of Sonic forming, obviously, in like, Rashi boost and Tony, but yeah, if they would have given him, like, a boost mechanic, I think that that, that would have made it more fun. I am metal, please insert girder. <laughs> please insert baby animals. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> and you end on 69 lives. Nice. Chicka chicka, yeah. This is the final cutscene. Yeah, it's like 30 seconds long or something. I wish you would have taken out all these loading screens. But yeah, here we go. So like, it, see, like this treats it like... They, like, the splash shield caps have just been opened, which it wouldn't have. And why is that rocket just standing there for? I don't know, like, Tails just kind of, like, left that there, didn't he? Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is, like, this is so stupid. Nerd rage! <laughs> Fly. 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 Why, why aren't, aren't you flying? flying? <laughs> so, um, and then he goes flying off on his giant metal penis. So that's episode metal, and, uh... This is this is really the end now of the Sonic 4 Episode 2 playthrough. We, I don't know, Steven, do you think there'll ever be a Episode 3? I think there will be. I mean, you can't just have 1 and 2, that's stupid. Especially seeing how, you know, at the end of 2, the uh, Miracle Planet is still engulfed in Death Egg Mark 2. So that's like a really <laughs> kind of we'll like just, depressing we'll, we'll let nature this, take care this, of that. This game. But yeah, so uh, if there's an Episode 3, we'll be back to commentate on it. If not, we'll, I don't know, drink ourselves to death, I don't know. So, uh, from me, FDA. Uh, Sonic Movies. We'll see you again later.